2017 was the largest insured catastrophe loss year on record, and the way the market reacted was actually quite unique in, in a historical context. Rates at June 1st were only up 1.2%. Last year at Monte Carlo, or just before Monte Carlo, around this time, we had Hurricane Harvey, and then during Monte Carlo, we had Hurricane Irma. So anything can still happen. I think the most active part of the hurricane season is still to come. We have been getting an increased number of inquiries on at least a couple of topics, but there are many things which we've been talking to clients about over the last six months. If I had to narrow it down to two, I think number one right now is internal reinsurance optimization. There are just a lot of things that are changing with regulatory capital and economic capital, and insurers are reacting to this by optimizing their internal reinsurance. So one thing is the beat tax in Bermuda coming online. Another thing is the implementation of IFRS 17 uh, worldwide. And those two things, inter alia, are actually forcing people to ask questions about whether or not their internal reinsurance operation, not just in terms of their spend, but in terms of how they've arranged their companies, given those new regulations, is optimal. And so that's one, I would say, internal reinsurance optimization. The other one is reserves and, you know, I would say structured risk, if I could put it into that bucket. The reserving picture is changing. We're starting to see inflation rising in most of the major economies, US, UK, Germany, China. We've got, you know, 10-year bond yields going up. We've got bond spreads going up. We have the yield curve shifting up, and that is affecting everybody's balance sheet on the asset side, but specifically on the liability side, we're now seeing as much reserve strengthening almost as we are releasing. And that is causing people to think very carefully about adverse development covers, lost portfolio transfers, and long tail reinsurance.